नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिट एजुकेशनल सर्विसेस माय नेम इज़ प्राणेश आई एम द फाउंडर ऑफ द चैनल एंड एन आई आई बेंगलोर एलेमनस इन दिस वीडियो सीरीज वी आर सॉल्विंग द फिजिक्स एम फ्रॉम एस आर एप्टीट्यूड टेस्ट ट्वेंटी सेवेंटीन एंड इन दिस वीडियो पर्टिकुलर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व द फिफ्थ एम सी क्यू फ्रॉम फिजिक्स दैट इज एम सी क्यू नंबर फिफ्टी फ्रॉम द एग्जाम पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मास एम वन एंड एम टू इनिशियली सेटिंग एट द सेम पोजिशन स्टार्ट मूविंग साइमल्टेनियसली एट टी इक्वल टू जीरो विथ वेलासिटीज वी वन बार एंड वी टू बार रिस्पेक्टिवली आफ्टर अ टाइम टी इक्वल टू टी नॉट द एंगुलर मोमेंटम ऑफ पार्टिकल ऑफ मास एम टू with respect to the particle of mass m1 is and we have four options note that in all four options they have only given the magnitude part okay so direction is irrelevant at least for the problem we want the angular momentum of second particle relative to the first particle so it is l21 bar the formula for angular momentum is l bar is r bar cross p bar okay so in this case it will be r21 bar cross p21 bar okay now although it is uh, well p21 bar whose momentum are we trying to find in this case momentum of body 2 correct so instead of writing it as p21 bar it makes sense to write it as m2 v21 bar okay because when we are finding the linear momentum of second body the absolute linear momentum will be m2 v2 bar but in this case we are finding it relative to the first body so it has to be relative velocity of body 2 with respect to body 1 okay fine now what is r21 bar by triangle law of vector addition it will be r2 bar minus r1 bar. cross m2 same thing for velocity v2 bar minus v1 bar okay now if you don't understand how r21 bar is r2 bar minus r1 bar here is what i'll i'll show it okay suppose this is the initial position of the two bodies okay suppose this is where the body is present at time t equal to t not let's say the body 1 so let this be r1 bar okay let this be r1 bar then suppose the body 2 is somewhere here okay body 2 is suppose somewhere here so this will be r2 bar now we want what do we want we want body 2's position relative to body 1 okay so we basically want this vector and if i apply the triangle law of vector addition this vector will turn out to be r2 bar minus r1 bar that's what i have written here correct okay now let's go, uh, let's go to velocities and note that these velocities are constants v1 bar and v2 bar are constants right they have not said anything about acceleration so when the velocities are constants it means that both the motions are rectilinear motions correct both the motions are rectilinear motions so we can actually say that r2 bar will be t not v2 bar see for rectilinear motion in the same direction with constant velocity with uniform velocity what is the conclusion that we can draw r2 bar is t not v2 bar okay because well v2 bar is a constant so the distance traveled that is the magnitude r2 will be the speed multiplied by the time and similarly r1 bar is equal to t not v1 bar. now here is the main step in the problem you have to put r2 bar as t not v2 bar and r1 bar as t not v1 bar here that will give us the answer okay so what will it be l21 bar is equal to if i put r2 bar as t not v2 bar and take t not outside it will be v2 bar and if i write r1 bar as t not v1 bar and again take t not outside it will be v2 bar minus v1 bar times t not cross m2 v2 bar minus v1 bar now what do you see here you see here that t not m2 is a scalar 
and then you are taking cross product of a vector with itself which has to be a null vector because for any vector r bar cross r bar is always a null vector so what is the relative angular momentum it's zero bar it's a null vector correct so what is the magnitude of the angular momentum option d angular momentum will be zero